Morgan Changirai taking aim at a pro zanu PF security sector, which refuses to accept him as president should he win elections. His proposals include parliamentary regulation of the intelligence services, a security sector subordinate to civilian authority, and a smaller army. A professional army, a professional police force, a professional CIO, a professional people service respects that they are non Changirai plans to raise $14.5 billion to rebuild the country and has promised to create 1 million new jobs over the next five years. His government will also pay compensation to victims of Mugabe's brutal rule, among them victims of the Matabeleland Gukurahundi massacre in the 1980s, 700,000 people who lost property in a 2005 slum cleanup and for land confiscated from white farmers during the land reform program. I think it takes on uh, too much, too many issues uh, at the same time. The ability to de deliver will depend on A, are they in power, and B, to what extent is the uh, foreign direct investment willing and able to fund their programs. But as far as I see it, it's highly ambitious, and not all of it is implementable within five years. Changirai says the election date will only be confirmed after the second voter registration campaign and the inspection of the voters' roll, and also wants reforms, including a code of conduct for the military during the polls. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.